It's spaghetti night at our house. No, we don't have a set day for spaghetti night. Spaghetti night happens to fall on whatever day that I work, I have a busy day, I run around, do a lot of things. It's the fastest, quickest, easiest way to prepare a meal for the entire family that we all enjoy. But tonight, while the family has the traditional spaghetti meal, I am gonna be preparing spaghetti squash as well for myself. So in this video, I am inviting you to come cook with me. Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Hope. First and foremost, if you haven't already, please do me a favor. If you like what you see here, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. I hope you'll share the information and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I wanna reach as many people on this platform as possible in order to provide wellness tip, health and wellness tip to educate, equip, and hopefully empower you to make healthy lifestyle changes. So tonight is spaghetti night at our house. Over the years, I've tried to make the healthiest version of spaghetti I can. Um, my children are used to having lumpy spaghetti where I would cut up a bunch of broccoli and vegetables in the sauce and just put that over pasta. Anyway, I've tried spaghetti with uh, meatless meatballs, trying to trick them. It didn't work, but for a while they ate it because you know mama made it, so they had to eat it. I pretty much just settled on uh, pasta, um, sometimes just sauce, or uh, as I'm gonna be making tonight, uh, turkey sausage um, as the meat, and they enjoy that, so I tend to make it. But for me, I prefer um, something a little bit more healthy, less fat, less calories. Uh, so oftentimes I would substitute the pasta for spaghetti squash. So spaghetti squash is a winter vegetable perfect for the fall season. It's rich in vitamins, minerals, and antioxidants. And because of its low calorie, high fiber content, it also aids in digestion and weight loss. So uh, if you've never had spaghetti squash before, come along with me as I prepare dinner and I hope you enjoy. So basically I'll be starting out with three vegetables, the spaghetti squash, a bell pepper, and an onion. Okay, so I'm gonna put the spaghetti squash to the side and also the bell pepper, and I'm gonna start by uh, chopping the onions. If y'all have any tips, by the way, on how to chop onions without it making you cry, I'm all ears. I've heard to put it in the refrigerator, but that didn't work for me. So you can chop as many vegetables as you please. In addition to the onion and the bell peppers, uh, sometimes I'll chop some garlic, carrots, even some celery. It just depends on what I'm in the mood for. I also have a food chopper that can chop these vegetables in half the time, but I wasn't in the mood to pull it out. Once my vegetables are chopped, I put them to the side and prepare to uh, cut my spaghetti squash. Now, I'm not sure why I only used three quarters of each vegetable, but for whatever reason, I did not use the whole thing. So now just a quick cleanup in preparation to cut the spaghetti squash. Now the outer layer of the spaghetti squash is very tough, so you really wanna get a, a knife that's sharp. Um, and be very careful. I decided to use a serrated knife just to uh, get through the uh, outer layer of the skin and then I used um, a knife to kind of cut through. Um, like I said, it's very tough, so you want to be careful um, to uh, be careful as you're cutting. Um, you can also choose to cut uh, the squash in a circumference. I don't like making it that way because it takes a lot longer to um, cook in the oven so cutting it horizontally usually works for me. So once the squash is cut open you want to scrape out all of the seeds along with the uh, stringy insides. If you're looking for a healthy crunchy snack you can also choose to roast the seeds with some spices and some seasoning. It's really good. 
And once that's complete, I drizzle a little olive oil and sprinkle a little salt and pepper on the squash. I preheat the oven to 400 degrees and then once it's heated, I place the squash um, face down on a cookie sheet and also parchment paper inside the oven. While the squash is baking, I saute my vegetables in about two tablespoons of olive oil. I sauteed the vegetables for about two minutes before adding the ground turkey sausage. After adding the ground turkey to the vegetables, I used a wooden spoon to break up the turkey to make sure that it's cooked evenly. I cooked it for about 14 to 15 minutes uh, just to ensure that it was no longer pink and that it was browned properly and also that the turkey was tender. I did add a few extra uh, pinches of salt and pepper. Next, I scooped out a serving for myself to be added to the spaghetti squash that I'm preparing. Then I added spaghetti sauce to the remaining uh, ground turkey. I pretty much used the entire container because my children uh, and my husband likes it very saucy. So I went ahead and just emptied the container in there. It's a, a 24 ounce container, so it wasn't too, too much. Next, I prepare the pasta by bringing about four quarts of water to a boil. I added about a tablespoon of salt to the water and just a little bit of olive oil. I then broke the pasta in half and added it to the water. Angel hair pasta is very thin and very easy to cook, so it took about three to five minutes to prepare. All right, it looks like everything is done and ready to be served. At this point, I'm kind of wishing I had prepared a larger volume so that we'll have some leftovers tomorrow, but I guess that's not gonna happen. Now that my family's meal is all prepared, uh, the spaghetti squash is just finishing and is ready for the final touches. Once the squash is finished uh, baking and cool enough to touch, I use a fork and scrape the strands. I like to start from the outside and work my way in and just fluff the strands up as I go. At this point, the squash is pretty much ready to be eaten. I like to make my squash a little bit more hearty by adding the ground turkey sausage uh, to each of my halves. I sprinkle a little bit of cheese and then I put it back in the oven for about three to five minutes. You can always add as little or as much toppings as you like. The moment I've been waiting for, it's time to eat. I actually wish the lighting was a little bit better here so you can see how great this turned out. Good Lord, good meat, good food, let's eat. Now that it's time to eat, of course my son comes to say hi. Y'all, it was actually really good. And I guess I was hungry too. I enjoyed it to the last bite. I even found myself doing the I'm enjoying my food dance. It was good y'all. My daughter came by to say hi. Of course I offered her some and she politely declined. She didn't want my squash. Well, 
that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video. The truth is I had a lot of fun making it. I've never watched myself eating on video before. <laughs> That was uh, something new. I had to edit out a whole bunch of it because I ate the entire thing and half the time I forgot I was still recording. So um, that was interesting to see. So um, <laughs> I hope you enjoy this video. While I may not be the most decorated chef, I am the chef of my home and I do enjoy preparing healthy meals for my family. So this is one healthy alternative that I hope you try and I hope you enjoy. All right, till next time.